World leaders gather for the opening ceremony of the general debate of the 79th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York, United States. Starting off the speeches, the Secretary General of the United Nations warned nations to draw back from the impunity, inequality and uncertainty which is creating an unsustainable world. Let's move our world towards less impunity and more accountability, less inequality and more justice, less uncertainty and more opportunity. The people of the world are looking to us and succeeding generations will look back on us. Let them find us on the side of the United Nations Charter, on the side of our shared values and principles, and on the right side of history. Appearing for the final time, the President of the United States stressed his optimism that world leaders can succeed in charting a new future despite the present grim outlook. I know there is a, a way forward. In 1919, the Irish poet William Butler Yeats described the world, and I quote, where things fall apart, the center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosed upon the world, end of quote. Some may say those words describe the world not just in 1919, but in 2024. But I see a, cri a critical distinction. Representing President Bola Tinubu at the event, Vice President Kashim Shetima delivered Nigeria's message to the leaders gathered. He noted that it is clear that more needs to be done to reverse the realities facing the world today. Today, these pillars of our organization are threatened. They risk being broken by the relentless pursuit of individual national priorities rather than the collective needs of the nations that are assembled here today. While commitment to multilateralism offers us the surest guarantee of global action to address the existential challenges we face, singularity and nationalism are undermining the aspirations towards a peaceful and collective resolution of such challenges. He also called for a collaboration that revives confidence in democratic rule and international cooperation. The continued manifestations of these challenges testify to our failings rather than to any lofty achievements on our part. Billions of dollars have been committed to the prosecution of wars and the planning of the embers of conflict. Yet, we always recoil from bringing out the resources we need to build peace and to deliver life's necessities to people. The question of governance is at the heart of our problems and also the solution to them. The Vice President also restated the call for a permanent seat for Africa on the UN Security Council and also asked for debt forgiveness for developing countries. The debate is set to continue on Wednesday, even as high-level meetings will continue on the sidelines of the General Assembly. From New York, Lanre Lassese, Channels Television News.